hey guys welcome back to another video today we're going to look at over 20 interior decoration ideas that you can add to your bills let's jump right in okay so the first bill on our list is this cabinet here and i must say i just love it it just looks beautiful yeah so it is I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it a mead cabinet because as you can see here it's just for displaying all your meads here uh just for looks but it also have functionality as well so right down here we have a little uh, chest where we can actually put our mead inside of it so i'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how i build this wood wall one by one and we're gonna set it right here in the groove so we're looking at the two by two well, uh, a width of two, uh, what do you call it? Two meters? Yeah, four for two meters, yeah. So I'm just gonna place one, uh, the wall right here and one here. Once you have that, we're gonna get our little shutters and put one right here. Good, so it should be looking like this, right? Now we're going to get our little floor in here, one by one. Drop right here. Let me just rotate this. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, good. So we have that right in. So we're just gonna get our wood pole, a two meter wood pole. Place one right here. Great. And I think I need a half of wood pole. We can work with a half. We can make it taller if we, if we want, but we're gonna work with a small one here. Okay. So once we have that, now we're going to. Alright, so I like to for the inside to look clean, but because it's, we're going to use tool, so it's going to hide that flaw. So I'm going to turn it around and let the outside look a lot cleaner. For the other cabinets, uh, you will see when I rotate it back to show the this on the outside because it doesn't look clean uh, when I'm doing that. Alright, so we have this all set. I know some of you guys have been difficulty <laughs> building with these tools. I guess I can show you again and explain some of the things uh, done to kind of master it a bit. Alright, so next little detail. So this is where we're going to get a bit uh, uh, fine tuning here. Where I'm going to drag this. Because we want to have a little uh, lip right here. Uh, to kind of give it the, the, the furniture basically a little bit uh, more depth. Now I am holding on shift key. The left shift key. And manually placing it. So I'm just lining it up with the other piece. Okay, and then just getting this to reach over here, nice and neat, great. So it should be looking something like this. Alright, so let me see, we're gonna go up top and we just get a ladder right here. Okay, so what I love to do, especially with uh, creating these furniture, and if you guys haven't seen it in any of my videos, so I would like to have a little uh, depth as well at the top, it certainly give, uh, make a difference. Alright, so this is the first piece. Let me just see how it is. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this piece underneath it. It's kind of throwing me off there. Alright, so we're gonna start off with this as the first piece, and then we you know, curve the edges like that. Then we're gonna put another layer. So I'm not holding down on shift key, but I'm just manually you know, shifting it over. This want a little bit of overhang right there, so it should be something like that. Not too much. Maybe I can go go in a bit. Yeah, not too much. Let me just go back a bit. Right there, we just put that right there. All right, let's check it out. So yeah, nice little little uh, overhang there. Oh, there's one more thing I need to add, but let me just get to that just a moment and let's get this. Wow. Um, ah, there we go. Good. So we're going to. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot to put this one in first. But eh, it still works. Yep. Yep. Still works. All right. Good. Great. So we have that in. Then we can just put this to the side kind of hide that little creases to the side there, let it look flushed in, and uh, yeah, so as you can see, nice, so we get in somewhere. And another thing that I like to do is just, to, well, I'm, I'm a bit picky, so I would just like to let this just kind of flow into the wall there. Let's see, all right, good, so that is it, so we're just going to get our stool right here, and let's see. Let's just slide this right and so the the trick with placing stool and all right so for example for this two meter uh length here or width 
you can hold a maximum of four stool. One of them is, the, well, two of them is basically halfway into the structure. So, so one is like that. I uh, apologize for the lag there. I don't have the best computer. And so let me just go like this. We just line it up with the edges. See, as uh, right there, like, as you can see, right there, right at the edges. As you can see, the half of this, or almost half of this, is kind of tucked into this structure, and this as well. So you get about four. And we just repeat the same step over. And with the top, as you can see, I kind of push the stool in a bit and line the front of it. There we go. See, there. Pretty easy. And just uh, for you guys that are having difficulty, it does take so, some practice. And let's see, right here. Yeah, and a lot of patience too. <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> so another thing to get the meat in between is that you would need to place the item stand first. Uh, let's see, let's get it right in between the yellow highlighting box. You can just, it should be facing down. If it faced in sideways, means that it is aiming at the stool so just face right in between there and drop it right in then we can get our stool and place that right there beside it boom and there you have it but another thing as well that you need to place that mead in before okay so we have our stair the mead portion in we can put our little stool right in there now because it's pretty much close to that little top edge there i don't have to be too perfect with it yeah and uh, oh, when you see it highlighted red just come out a bit and you're good to go and voila there you have it so you have like, a meat cabinet where you store all your nice little meat now for that the back where it's showing the stone you can use uh, any of the wood wall there to uh, get it uh, flushed in so let me just break that you can just put that in and there you have it. Next is on our list is the kitchen. Yes, the kitchen. I so love making uh, kitchens. Now you can see we have the two little cabinets uh, and a nice little sink here. You can see inside the sink, it looks like it has a little soapy water there. <laughs> but that is just um, of the carpet for that's made out of wolf. And you can see the nice little knobs there to turn on a little pipe and you have your little, little uh, pipe nozzle there. Yeah, all that water pouring out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is a pretty nice idea with the knobs. I've gotten it from one of the guys in the community. I uh, must give a shout out to Miz for this lovely idea. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I was able to make this. Okay, so we have our little wall here again. Let me just get this. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, so we have our wall here again. And we're going to start with our little half one meter wall i like to call it half wall but uh yeah so let's see so i like to have like a little gap here or like two meter for the sink so we'll just start off like this and let's see so for the sink we're gonna have use this two meter now i'm holding shift and i'm manually aiming it so let's place one and two for a sink and we're gonna get our wood floor so let us set it right so i like to keep it uh, flowing in this direction yeah it, it basically makes sense just looking at it and uh what we're going to add here we're going to i think we may be use no we're going to use the this yeah so we're going to get drop that in all right so there's a bit of change let me just get rid of this here so there was supposed to be a, yes, a cabinet, or a shutter, I should say, right here. Let's get that right in. All right, so that is in. Uh, let's see, how small is it? Not too small. All right. Good, so now we need something to, as our base here. Right, so we have that and I think we need the so we need to have this installed here yep so we have a nice little basin let's see if we're gonna clean this up with 
Does it make any difference? Uh, I don't want it to be that high because it's going to basically show it up on this. We can just finish it off like this. We could do something like that. Uh, a little bit of variation uh, from the one that you saw there. And something like this. Let's see. And then we're going to get our, our little wolf uh, rug here. And it's a show in a bit. Let's see if we can tuck it right in. Yeah, yeah, we can work with that. We're not seeing much of it on the, the left or the right. And look, we have a little soapy water area. That's nice. <laughs> we need a little drop back. But uh, let's see what we're we going to do. All right, so we're going to have that in and we're going to get our items item stand. I'm wondering if it kind of diminished the little space we had there for the, for the sink. But let me, let me just try this right in. Okay, so we got our two mace here. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, good. So we got that set. Now we're gonna use. So we're gonna use this same item stand. So it's slightly. Let's set it right there. Because we want it to be in the center when the the iron pick goes on it. I think maybe we should bring it over a bit more something about that and we basically face that piece we just aim at it tuck it right in to the yeah i think that is good all right so we're just going to get our or iron pick or any pick for example but uh i've seen iron pick to be a bit uh longer where i can get that extra length in boom there we go Nice, so we have our little sink here and our cabinets. We can just have that installed. So we just have these two boats right here. We get our shutters. Go like this. We just aim at the bottom piece here. To get it uh, to get it to appear. It's not gonna appear when you aim at the shutter itself. And we repeat the same thing here. Okay, good. All right, nice. So we could leave it as that, but it's boring. Uh, for me, I, I like to go a little, a little extra, kind of get the complete look of it. You know how cabinets look, have that little croning at the top. So we're just gonna get our one by one floor, get our ladder. And uh, let's see, come on, come on, get up. All right, great, so we just, uh, should I? No, I think let's do. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this first. It's not gonna appear. All right, so we're going to have a little overhang. Like it kind of flush into the edge of the the shutter. There. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's we'll add another piece. We're gonna rotate this two times and do the same over here. And we basically have a nice complete uh, cabinet. Uh, let me just clean that edge up. Uh, just get that cleaned up. There we go. Nice. And if your wall is, uh, yeah, you have a wall right here. Just smooth that edge, and everything would flush right in. Okay. So there we have it. So we we created our kitchen. So quick and easy. And this, you don't. As I said, you don't need to use iron pick. You can use the the one that you got from Ek there. And uh, that still worked uh, as well. But as I said, the bronze bronze mace uh, works very nice as the knob for the, the kitchen uh, uh, sink there. So everything should be set. Let's move on to the next build. Okay, so next on our list is the cabinet that you maybe some of you guys have saw in the the Tundra Homestead. Uh, so it is my trophy cabinet. So I wanted to have something that was more fancy than just the plain old wall to showcase my trophies that I have uh, I've collected. Well, <laughs> I haven't really collected much trophy, but uh, I plan to play a, a, do a SMP uh, playthrough. It's going to have uh, a lot of uh, buildings and uh, survival mechanics, playing the game for its uh, natural state instead of 
me being, being a creative dude and putting out all these bills maybe providing you guys some a little bit of entertainment and uh, some little impressive bills uh done in the survival mode so let's uh, get into getting this uh done Okay, so we are back over here at our building station here, and it's basically just the same as the first cabinet. We start with the basically half wall. I'm just gonna call it half wall, and we get our shutters here. This cabinet is basically just the same like the first one, but the difference is that we are using glass. Now, just to give you a bit of detail, the to get glass, you have to kill a golem. Now. It can be a bit difficult because <laughs> the golems are pretty adorable, I must say. A uh, tough set of creatures. Uh, I don't have a guide on how to defeat golems. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you guys. Uh, but certainly it will be something that I will be taking as a challenge when I start my SMP world and play with a few, few of the guys here. The survival as it uh, should be. Now, just to give you a detail a bit about the glass, what you would need is that it is called crystals. And crystals is what you basically get from golem. Now, I'm not sure if the drop, drop, drop count varies, but I just did a test where I killed a golem and got about 11 of those crystals. You need two of those crystals to make one glass. So, well, that sounds pretty expensive for a little cabinet here because <laughs> that's one golem <laughs> and uh, yeah it's gonna be pretty tough collecting all of those glass I mean, hunting golems well I mean making a, a base in the mountains be good because the spawn the spawn rate of the mobs have seen that it has increased significantly so it's basically like this and you just get your glass and you just just drop it right at the front here so make sure to aim on the, any of the wood to have it locked in if you aim on the glass itself so glass can't support another glass just bear in mind of that so you have a nice little trophy case here let me at least put something in this trophy case to to at least sell it all right so we're just going to put this egg i think it's good enough right here ah nice nice little egg yes and uh, where's our glass great so we just Put our glass right in there. Oops. Uh, there we go. Ah, nice. So we have a nice little display trophy case there. Ooh, I must say it looks pretty fancy. So let us just finish up our top. And uh, we just have a little... I did mention overhang. We're going to start with the edge of the this wood here. We're just going to line it up a bit. There and... Basically the same as the first. Don't want to do all of it. Uh, as I said, I, I do. I did the first with another layer to kind of have a bit of depth. But uh, one can work if you're, you're basically you know, conserving on instance <laughs> like me. But yeah, so display trophy. So let's jump to the next one. Okay, so the next one on our list is this pantry cabinet. So a lot of cabinets we're rolling out with. <laughs> But yeah, so it's not just uh, for looks, but also for functionality as well. We can have our little chest store down here and put our, you know, food or stuff, uh, whichever. And uh, we just have our little stuff here that can display on the shelf, kind of give your bill some life or you know, whatnot. I really hate how these things just kind of open back ways. So I wish it could open forward, but uh, I guess uh, we just have to work with what we have here. So we're going to show you how I was able to meet this. It's basically the same, but uh, yeah, I was just going to show you guys. We have our little wall here, a section where we're going to build on. Now this time it's about, let's see, a two meter wall. Yeah, so one, two meter. Or, well, is it two meter? Uh, this, it, it says wood half wall. <laughs> And we just get a little small one to put right beside it. So it's about this uh, wide. And we just use the same uh, small wall there for the sides. Let's see if we can get our chest in. If we don't, we're going to have uh, trouble doing so later on. Let's see if we can get that there. All right, let's just keep that out. We're just getting close as possible. Okay, so we have that all set in. Let's get our wall back in. Great, now we can get our cabinets, uh, shutters, 
All right. Then we just kind of put this. So we put one more here. And uh, rotate the other side. Good. So it should be, it should look like this. Great. Now we can do our, our top here. And we're going to get our two meter wood. Now we're going, this is going to be a bit higher. So it's basically a large cabinet. So it's two, two meter wood pole, basically. And we just finish it up like this. And we just uh, fix our little wall drop back there. Let me, uh, let me just get rid of this. Let me just use this. Yeah, we want to have a cleaner look. So we just gonna use that. And then we just use this at the top right here. Let's finish up our sides. Then we can have our our shelves. Let's see, maybe we could put one there. And one more right here. I mean you can stretch the, the, the shelf in if you want. Maybe put a, another one here. But for now we're just gonna do it like this. And we just get our shutters. And we had our little glass at the front, but before we put in our shutters, we we have to put in our little edge here at the front. So where is our yeah right here? That li this little detail kind of sets it sets it apart from everything else. So this drop it there. All right. So for this part, we're gonna hold down on shift key, slide it, slide it in. And then slide it forward. There we go. Nice little edge there. A bit more depth in the furniture, basically. And we just finish our up our top. We get the glass. We can get that right in. So we basically aiming on that first shelf there. We can just aim right at the top. We're good to go. All right. So our shutters. I think that's everything. Yeah, and then we just uh, go up top, finish the top. Basically the same thing like the first and the, the previous one that we did. So wood flooring, we just line it up with the edge. Have a little overhang. Just a little. There we go. Just a bit of rotation. There's two rotation that is. One, two. Yeah. Do it on the side. Out of side. Then we, we just bring it a bit out again. Another layer and we just make it to uh, meet the wall this again uh-huh right good so it should be looking like this when you're done let me see let me get this this in just kind of clean up the, the sides there and uh, voila you have uh, a large cabinet so you can basically store stuff in I mean put stuff in your chest here and here as well and you have a nice little pretty display Let's move on to the next build. Okay, next on our list is, well, uh, it's just a shelf in and a cabinet here. It's just uh, basically a little little idea. Uh, not gonna really build this, but giving you guys option because it's really nice to have a little, little nice shelf in here. And as I mentioned, you know, we have the little shelf and uh, have it just rotate going into the wall. And as you can see, you have the, the wood pole rotated. Well, not this pole but the other one rotated and have the edges kind of point out giving that look there instead of it being flat but yeah this is another option that's um yeah you can add to your home all right so the next one is pretty much kind of futuristic i don't know where this is going to be applied in the viking world <laughs> i mean viking don't have computers and whatnot but it's an option here for some of you guys if you maybe build in like a modern house but um it's a yeah a computer desk and so we, we can do a, a quick build of this here. So let's get into it. Okay, so for the computer desk, it's basically about four meters long. Uh, well, wide. Uh, let's see here. So we'll just use this as a marking. And just using this wall as a, basically just a drop back. So we're going to start off with, as usual, our little uh, wall here. Uh, let me just turn it to, turn it around. And 
Do you have any chests that we can kind of stuck into this thing? We just want we want to make it a bit uh, functional. If we can't fit the big chest in, we're gonna use a small one. Yeah, we're gonna use a tiny one here. We just stuck that right in there. And we just going to use our small wall again. Where is that? Okay, let's see. Okay, we have it right here. Boom. So we have that, and we just leave this little gap here for our our desk. And we just put another push uh, section right here. We might as well put another chest here. Yeah. It will come in handy for some sort of use. <laughs> so we enclose this. We're gonna get our shutters. So one here. One, let me turn this around. Yeah. We just have the edges uh, poking out outside. Yeah. And we have our little desk area. Let's. Let's rotate it like this as well. So this side was a bit, uh, a bit higher than the other side. Let's see. So something like this. And let's get this set here. So we just enclose it to the side. Now we had a little bit of stool action going on in this section here. I don't know what I would put there. Maybe. Maybe I can maybe a mead potion. Maybe we, we could put like a mead potion here. I don't know. But uh, this is for like a little less aesthetic design. Let's have that right here. And uh, we just get our, our wood. And close it here. Nice. Okay, so and we have the little drop back here. And we just have a, it coming around like this. Great, so I think we want to clean up the edges. Put some little wood here. Holding down on the shift key and aiming right at the top. If you find it that it's kind of you know, automatically tucked in right here, just hold shift key and just basically line it up with that wood there. Rotate this one, two, three and have it go into the wall. So we do, do it on the other side. Have that go into the wall. And we finish with our decks. Uh, our next build is the grill. Yes, juicy steak and sausage and uh, what's this, lamb chops? Oh, wolf meat. Yeah, uh, this one was was heartbreaking because as you can see, I have the, the campfire right underneath it and there's no fire because well, smoke can't pass through the grill, so yeah, that's a, a complete bummer. So I had to improvise, get uh, some grills here, had some you know, some of those certain certain uh, trophies, and just add them as the uh, basically the flame. I'm going to do a quick uh, dem demonstration as how I was able to build this grill. Okay, so for the grill, we're going to start off with a uh, stone, two meter stone wall here, another one here. We just have that uh, tucked into the side of it. So you should have something like this. Now for the little detail at the edge, the bottom edge here. So we're gonna need a wood for this. There's a, a little trick I've uh, learned uh, playing on a server called Comfy Valheim. I have to work with some of the creators there. There is a, so you know how stone is a bit, um, it's a bit static for me. So to kind of get it flexed a bit, you basically use wood as the, the snapping point where you get to snap it further down, tucked in like that. Let me see, let me just get this rotated maybe two times. Do the same thing here. Be snapping with the top piece, not the bottom. Then we basically just rotate two times see if we can get it in one time okay it sits in right there let's see if we can get it right there. ah there we go we got it in so it should be looking something like this okay so now the next thing is that we get or I still want to put the campfire there just for just for it looks like there's actually a campfire underneath it instead of using just the plain old certain trophy and we want to use this uh, cage floor. And let's see, we want to aim it at this piece over here. So you're gonna see 
what I was talking about. I just the snappy pin right there. It should go out. Unless there's something new with it. I highly doubt it. Let's see. Why is this not close enough? Okay, there we go. And there you have it, the fire just went out. Okay, so this piece didn't snap in a bit close uh, to the edge. That's why I have this little gap here. But uh, we'll just make use with what we have here. So this is, we have our little uh, grill set up here. And we're just going to set our little surface. I don't like when the stone is poking out of it like that. Uh, really unclean looking, looks sloppy. Uh, oh well, we just uh, make use with what we have and uh, we just fix up the edges. Gonna get the, the wood here going around. As I said, that this did not snap in properly, and so it's poking out a bit. I should, I should just, just remove it, but let me just work with it for now. And we'll just get our little drop back for our grill. Yeah, it's pretty easy, and uh, there it is. So you just have. Okay, so our next one is not too much of a major uh, bill, but it's basically like a. We're trying to have the idea as a half barrel with some little fruits in it and a little box here. It's pretty easy, and uh, I'll just show you how I was able to make this. Okay, so for our big barrel, so we're gonna use the one by one wall. So we start off with our one by one wall for the barrel and we basically start with one direction set in that way and we just rotate it about two times and rotate again and do it for the sides. Wait. Let me just change that. So it should be the sides that is flat like this. This two times. Get two times and rotate again. It should all be meeting. Okay, that's... There we go. So we have a nice barrel here. We just get our little short wood. Kind of clean the edges up. I think this one is snapping to the stone. Okay, we got that in. And there we have it. And then we just... I think we should clean... No, is it needed? I'm trying to see if there's any difference. Uh, not much difference. We don't need to really put much of a wood there. Oops. Hope it doesn't break on me. It's, it's, oops. Um, it was breaking everything all over the place. Alright, we just want to work with it <laughs> before I break anything else. Uh, yeah, let's fix that. Yeah, good. We got that in. Alright, so once that in, we just get our item stand. So something slightly below you know, this height, and then one more on top. Just making it look like a big handle there to carry this. And one more right there. And there you have it. And this for the inside of it, you just get one of the full floor in. Just bring it up to maybe like this height. This height is good. And let's put it side by side. Uh, it shouldn't be poking out. Let's see the edges. All right, so for the for those are the corners here, we're just gonna leave it as is. We just can get our item stand and uh, basically just uh, place them right so along the edges. Now, how I was able to get some variation of the the fruits being some part high and low is basically the stack a couple of the item stand there for some areas and some areas maybe stay one some two and basically just do do it like that have a little variety and it just looks all natural like it's just, it's not just leveled out like it's perfect <laughs> but uh it looks like yeah like stuff is uh you, you basically stack the this barrel here with the blueberries and for the, the small box for the small box this is basically just have of the four shutters and just snap them right beside each other 
If you notice that if you do them that way, you will get this nice little X here. So you can just do it on the other side. Just do that all around. So it does look like the little crate box uh, when you have it done that way. And there you have it. Next on our list is uh, flowers. So a bit of decoration we can add it within the home. Now, I know you guys, some, well maybe some of you guys have seen this one already, which is the grade off trophy and the item stand basically rotated in the box and the space inside of it. But I still ha have it in this video because some person still asked about it and what that was. So might as well just have it in this video here. Now you have basically have three types. You have like the cactus type and you have like the, you know, the live flowers and uh, basically you have the dead flowers. I, I know that this cactus is going to be really costly because they basically have about three porcupine in this thing. Yeah. But if you got that dough <laughs> or the math and you want to flex like that, sure, why not throw all your porcupines in this little, little floor spot here? Uh, the grade of uh, is pretty easy. My recommendation is to have, uh, if you ran, if you run into like a grade of spawner, uh, best advice is to save it. Just save it and you can use it to farm a lot of these trophies where you can use the decorative bells all over the place. Now we have like the largest size uh, to the to the pots, and this is basically having the item stand. Let's be one right here, and you rotate it two times for the sides, and it just meet the edge, basically like that. And you just do the same on the other side, and you have it uh, like this, pretty easy. Uh, you can just add it like maybe like for like a floor, maybe next to your bed or. Whichever. I wouldn't put it on the table because it's, it's a bit big. I would use a small one, but uh, options, options. All right, so let's move on to the next uh, build. Okay, so what we have right here is, I want to say like it's a, a weapons cabinet or yeah, let's, let's call it a weapons cabinet. And uh, it's a really nice area to basically store your weapons. I mean, you have the option to put it on the wall, but for you guys that maybe won't have you know, furniture like this inside your home. You just grab and go. Let's see. Let me just put this back up. So you basically just have all your gears right in one area. So you can maybe store some maybe stuff up here. Have some on display. You can quickly grab and go. Have some stored down here. Pretty nice. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna demonstrate. Well, I don't think I need to demonstrate for you guys for this one. It's just basically the same like the previous one. This is a basically four meters wide so like two meter wood pole side by side each other get those in width and it's basically the same method on the side I've used a wood uh, pole here for the core wood I use a core wood pole here just for the size so just kind of give a different variation and uh, just have a little uh, wood overhang to the front and a little opening here as you can see so if you repeat the the other the other ones, uh, you would basically have the understanding as to how I was able to just make this this one here, which is pretty easy. So the next one here is a light, uh, well maybe a lamp shade kind of thing. Yeah, I would say a lamp stand, but <clears throat> so a lamp shade and a little table. I don't know. Okay, so this next one is pretty nice. I mean, we don't have much uh, wardrobe. I mean, we don't have much uh, stuff to showcase or gears and whatnot. I've only noticed that you can stick the the, the iron helmet, bronze was bronze uh, leather. Can I, I think leather was able to be stick. But I know that yes, and the Drake helmet can be mounted on an item stand. I'm not sure if I have a mod that was enabled that's uh, mod this other one, I'm not sure. But I know that the iron, the bronze, and the drake helmet was able to be mounted. And you know you have the little uh, great uh, trophy, if I pronounce it right, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you set it in this formation, looking like some clothes that, you know, hanged up there. And you have, uh, maybe this place a little shield right here. Uh, just, just to kind of add a bit of look here. I forgot to fill in the top right there, but... Yeah, <laughs> so this is a nice little wardrobe. I had a, added a door right here, and, and then you have the shutters. I basically set the shutters to be like, oops, 
that would basically set the shutters to be like slightly open. Where is it? Where is the shutter? I can't even see it. The darn thing is right ahead. Alright, there it is. Yeah, that basically just left it open like this. Now it does kind of have a, like a, a wardrobe uh, uh, look. I'm just gonna slide into the side and take over the jacket. <laughs> yeah, three weird jackets. So. And uh, as I said, that it's with uh, with all the cabinets or wardrobes or uh, showcase. It's basically the same method I've used. You, know, you can repeat it. It's just the, the dimension is just uh, different. One is wider. But uh, if you just look at it, and you can see how it is, and you basically get a gist of it. So, so next what we have here is not much, it doesn't really have a great aesthetic look to it, but it is a fridge. Yes, a fridge. So you can be, you can see the functionality of it, uh, not the practicality of it, but just like the hit with the animation of like the, the animation of the, the chilled air that's coming down, like the freezer, that kind of thing. It's really cool, I like to use the, uh, what do you call it, the frostner, yeah. To get that effect freezer effect and I put one more in between uh, the shelf in here you won't be able to see it but it added the little chill effect as well down here not too much but a little, a little cool and really nice I must say so it's uh, really adds to a little uh, role play theme of stuff if you if you ask me and if you're thinking about making a modern house this is a pretty nice idea to to add to your to your build Next we have right here is a nice little bed. Now I just wanted to give you guys something new that you can use as a design that is otherwise from the pre prefabricated bed that we can basically make. So I wanted something more of an option and you know to, to tell you it kinda it kinda can compete. The only downside is that the little straw looking thing what is going on right here. Maybe maybe, maybe. Can I fit over there? Maybe. I'm not sure if it's going to work with the design of this here, but uh, so I'm going to show you how I was able to make this and uh, yeah, let's, let's get on with it. Okay, so for the bed, we're going to start off with uh, placing one bed right here and another beside it. Let's see if it's lined up properly. I think I want it to go a bit closer. Let's see. I think that, that, is, that is fine. Alright, so we're going to get our. I'm trying to remember how I made this. Alright, so there is. We can use the bed to to aim a bit here. And so we're just gonna bring it about that level. We can maybe about that level. We'll work with that. And just get some wood here. Lined up at the side. Half wood. And just get one more more right here and for the back we just carry this over so we just get another right here and let's see one if it's too wide let's see here if not we have to do it from this side yep it's too wide so let's do it right here so just using this might be this I'm holding on shift and sliding it down a bit. Yes, I'm estimating. I like to estimate. <laughs> and I think it's close enough. Yep, yep, it is close enough. And we just... Great, so we have that snug right in. Great. Now, let's see here. We just get our little wood right here at the front. Maybe we want to make it flush in a bit right near the edge. And just do the same on the other side. So you should have something looking like this. Now we just going to bring it up. Okay, so we can go that high, but I think I want to make it a bit shorter. It's too much. Mm, let's see, short. How short is it? Uh, yeah, we're gonna just work with that height. And we just bring uh, it over. Slightly pushed back. What we can do is that we can just take this out and maybe hold on shift and just manually correct it there. Yeah, and we just get our stools. Where are stools? Okay, so we just so this is let's see 
we just tuck in this corner here, and then we just follow edge by edge. Edge by edge. Okay, so I think we're gonna need a bit. Alright. We can work with that. Edge by edge. We're gonna tuck this in a bit. Yeah, so we just put one more. So I don't really need to be perfect with the top one. I mean, not going to receive that much, they, as in regards to the lining. I just have to watch the base. And let's see, that's okay. That is that. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to get more wood here. And let's see if we can line it up to a little overhang right there. So I'm holding on shift and bringing it in. There we go. Let's see. Yep. Let's see if it's looking good. And we have a nice little little bed there. Let's see. Let's check back on or I want to wear it. So we had a little thing that was going on at, up top. So we can add that. And we are good. So let's get that in. So it had a little overhang. Just a little. Not too much. And uh, just hold shift key and just pull that in. Just line it up with the edge there. Or both edges. Okay, so the front and the side. And uh, voila, there we have it. And okay, so our next build is basically a sofa. Now we there's many other sofas that are out there, and I just wanted to make one that is a little bit similar, cleaner. Yeah, so if you notice that I have basically just put the wood around around it, kind of have that little the folding around kind of like uh, thing there, having that edge. And uh, thanks to Miz for her idea for the neck plushie. <laughs> yes, now I can sit in comfort. <laughs> my foot, where's my foot? <laughs> this is not comfortable at all. Oh, uh, yeah, but <laughs> this is an option as well. Yeah, so I wanted to just add that. Okay, so next on the, the list is basically a saw table. Now, I I mean, this is something that you could add as an idea in your workshop. And I, I should, I'm going to show you guys how I did this here. Because I basically ran into the idea of it and I was experimenting a bit uh, with it. And I'm just going to show you how it's done. Just using the grindstone and kind of have a... A little bit of it uh, pushing out there and having a little nice saw table that you can add to your workshop. Okay, so how are we gonna make our saw table? Now we, we get our workbench here and our grinding stone. Oh, no, we don't need workbench for it, we need the forge. And we can get our grinding stone. Uh, there we go, we can just get rid of that forge. And we get our wood. What we're gonna do is that we're going to. So I'm holding down on the shift key and we're sliding it. A bit in like that and we, we basically gonna stack the wood on top of it Let's see if we can get it again yep and we can get one more although like that all right so let's see get it lined up ah right, there we go and basically we're just gonna get a small small wood right here let's see if we can maybe tuck it in Right. We can go further. All right. So we can go about that. All right. So we uh, have it right in, and we just place that wood right there, and we just get our little drop, drop back wood. Well, I think we need one more here. Let's get one more lined up right here. All right. So the hitbox is basically causing a problem. So we're just going to aim at the floor and bring it right up let's line it up okay still giving problems all right there we have it good great nice now that is in the i wanted to get rid of this so i'm just getting rid of this and then i can put this right here and then we just get our two small wood Right there. I think I think it, no, it's a bit too too low. Let's 
bring it up a bit. Ah, perfect. So, let's see. Maybe I want to make this longer. Yes, that should look much better. Uh, let's see, we do this the same as well. This short. And we should have our, our table coming to life. Turn that into the long one. This short, this long. Yep. Awesome. Great. So we have our little saw table here. So we just get our little, uh, I don't know what it's called, but, <laughs> but I know what it looks like. This little guard thing or guide or whatever. Let's drop it right here. And uh, it looks a bit sloppy. Let me just fix that up right. Okay, good. That looks a lot better. Yeah, like it. And yeah, so you have your little saw table and we can just put some wood, make it look like we cut in some wood. Yeah, like this. Super cool. Yeah. And there you have it, a nice little saw table. So next on our list is this. And what am I talking about? No, it's not any of those things on the wall. It's this fancy thing here, the chandelier. Yes. Uh, I just love it. I just love it. it, it yeah, otherwise from the wood, because I hate the, the wood chandelier, it's, it's it's too much wood, it's wood everywhere, you have the wood roof, your wooden wall, and then your wooden chandelier, ah, uh, there's too much wood, so I'm glad that we even have these iron uh, cages that we can use to create our chandelier, and I'm going to show you how I was able to create this, it's pretty easy. Okay, so for our chandelier, what we're going to do is that we're going to start off with our brazier, am I calling it right? Yep, brazier, and yeah, so basically place it down first. And the next thing you're gonna get is the grill and uh, we're just going to line it up so that's the the lowest it can go and you just box it around box it around just box it around like that now we, we basically gonna get rid of that smoke effect that's going on with the brazier so we're gonna we're gonna kill it let's get our ladder so I'm just gonna go up top. I mean, you can just get any ladder and just basically go way up. And you're basically gonna see it like this. And you're going to get another cage, this one here for the floor. And so you're not gonna place it at the very top where it snaps in, but you're going to hold down the shift key and aim further down. Because if you place it at up top, it's not gonna kill the smoke. It's not gonna kill the, the brazier basically. So it's still going to go on and you basically have that nice uh, little thing there. Now you need to get the, the wall brazier again, one by one. And you just have it set at an angle for each side. Let's see, you just can turn a bit more. Yep. And uh, one more here. Let me just get rid of this ladder. Let's see. No oh, problems. Get rid of that. Wrong again. Ah, God damn it! All right, this, all right. yeah, there it is. Good, and one more right here. Great. So it's uh, it can go continue like this, but if you really want to go way up to detail where it kind of comes down a bit, you can hold down on shift key. You see where it's not going to the middle right there, and basically just kind of manually set it there in the middle. So it should have something like this. Maybe you can. Fix it up a bit. Let's see. Yep. Uh, this side is uh, much better. And we just rotate it and do it again. Let's see if we can get that in. Great. So it should be something like this. Looking like this. Really nice. And then we just get our. Oh, this. I never called a name for this. This goons? <laughs> I don't know the name of it. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna call this thing that you know we gotta hang on the wall, give us light, and just hang it on, on it like that. Put it on the back here, and you're basically done, and that's it. Great, so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and also shout out to patrons. Really appreciate you guys for your tremendous support uh, thus far, and uh, keeping the, the channel going. Appreciate you guys, and see you guys in the next build.